Welcome, welcome everybody. You are in the right place for day three of the Level Up Your Reader's Achievement in Just Five Days Challenge. Say hello, let me know how you're doing on day three, or if you're just starting, that's good too. I have a question for you. So what if you have a student who knows zero short vowels on Monday? How many letter sounds do you expect he will know by Wednesday if you've done some instruction with him? So zero on Monday, three days later, two instructional days, how many letter sounds do you think he'll know? Well, you're gonna see an example of our star student today rocketing ahead in his short vowels. He was exposed to two on Monday and then a third on Tuesday. Do you think he's getting them to stick in his brain? How many will he have on this third day in our challenge? It's exciting, what do you think? And if you haven't, if you've been here, let the, the folks know uh, what you thought of how our star student did with day one and day two. If you haven't been here, no problem, we'll catch you up. We are doing a challenge of just one activity. It's called Switch It. Let me show it to you and what it looks like. So this is the part of the Reading Simplified lesson plan that is so powerful that we're focusing on it for an entire week. And check out all that this one activity does. It does the concept of the word, of a word. It teaches phonemic segmentation, phonemic manipulation, alphabetic principle, left to right tracking, letter sound knowledge, early decoding, and early spelling. And as Donna says, our star student who's been using this one activity is doing awesome. Thank you, Donna. So how are your students doing? I'd love to hear if you've been participating um, have you tested out Switch It? Let us know what's happened. Maybe you've done it once, maybe you've done it twice. What's going on? Share your successes. And maybe you want to share this with a friend as well because this has been invigorating for you and for your um, student or student. So don't keep all the goodness to yourself. Okay, so, hey. Jennifer went um, to four sounds, CCVC, it went well, and you're going up a level tomorrow. Sweet, perfectly timed for today's topic. Very nice, thank you, thank you. Um, and Diana has done, switched it already twice and she progressed much further than I thought, so wait. So, I think we should get into it and see what's next. As I said, Switch It is just one element of the entire Reading Simplified lesson plan. All of our activities are streamlined like Switch It. Remember we talked about how uh, a lot of reading programs tack on so many things in isolation. 15 minutes of phonemic awareness, 15 minutes of letter sound knowledge, separate decoding, separate handwriting, separate spelling, yada yada. It's just too much and we're getting so much of it accomplished with just one activity. So you can throw out the isolated instruction for the most part and replace it with really powerful integrated activities like Switch It. These others here, Read It, Sort It, and Write It, are also similar. So they are time-saving and they pack a punch. So uh, as we get further into this week, we're gonna be sharing the opportunity for you to learn this full system, the whole Reading Simplified system by joining the Reading Simplified Academy, and we're gonna be giving a discount. So keep your eyes open, ladies and gents. So here is our agenda for today. How did Switch It go? Uh, and we'll pick our winner from yesterday. And then we'll talk about the main teaching point for today to challenge their phonemic difficulty. Then we'll see our star student. Do you think we're gonna challenge his phonemic difficulty? We'll see if there's any questions and we'll draw a winner from among your comments. So anyone who shares today, just by sharing uh, an aha or a question or an encouragement in the chat, you will be entered into a drawing. So let's get going. 
Would you like to see some of your colleagues' results? Well, Margaret said we worked on CVC words and she learned TH, CH, and uh, looks like double L plus H and W. That's awesome. Five letter sounds in one day. Margaret says she was excited, as was I. I bet that is pretty cool. Five sounds in one day, not typical. Teresa or Teresa said she did the pairing activity, comparing two consonants or two sh short vowels that are challenging for the child and um, looks like vowels actually. And so that was yesterday's teaching tip. Way to go, Teresa. And this child was gaining confidence in those sounds. Isn't that awesome? And Julie said, I tried contrasting vowel sounds also today on CVC words with Emma. She got it. Wow. How many of you feel like your student was a wow? So should we head over to our day two winner? The day two winner is from someone who posted in our, in our homework. Every day, if you're if signed up for this event, you get a, a little teaching point via email and you get sent to um, a post on Facebook where you can share how your kids have done. It's a super easy thing. Not a big deal, um, but we're still uh, rewarding you. So let's see who our winner is for just for participating in the day three post, whether you post it on the Facebook page at Reading Simplified or the Facebook group, level up your reader's achievement. Either way, you are entered today. All right, here we go. Drum roll, everybody. I can see the names here. Rosina Mount, Rosina Mount. Have somebody type her name in the chat for us. Rosina, congratulations. You will get um, the whole phonics book. So we're sending these in the mail. No digital prizes. You're getting a whole set of these off we go phonics books um, for participating. So aren't they gorgeous? I've written a review of whole phonics on our website if you want to know more about that decodable set. So way to go. Actually, let me get my things up and I appreciate um, the congrats for participating. And Candy, this is interesting. She says, uh, my son absolutely loves it and eager to do more. Moving on to C CVC for sounds. I love it. Way to go. That is in alignment with our principle of the day. And he, she loves the way he's becoming more confident in such a short period. That is huge, isn't it? Let me get my presentation back up. And we'll move along. Thank you, Candy. Okay, real quick, if you haven't been participating, make sure you sign up. You'll get our emails with the daily teaching tip, how to get to the blog post to write your um, comments so you can be in the homework challenge to get the prize and also to get the coupon. We're gonna have a coupon for you guys just for level up people to uh, join the Reading Simplified Academy. Once you get into there, you get into the Facebook group and go to guides to get the freebie, which is the Switch It guide, appropriately. And then go try out Switch It if you haven't already. You're never too late. We'll cheer you on. And as I said, if you sign up, you'll get a link to this post where you just comment on the, on the homework. Uh, you saw an example of that already, just a short little report. No big deal, but then you get a prize, including the possibility of the grand prize, which we'll show again later. Okay, one of our little quizzes today, I thank you all for participating, was how, um, what is a six sound word? Consonant, 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 vowel, consonant, consonant. And that's tricky because we think as adult readers in terms of letters. So some of you came up with sprung or strong or struck. They indeed have six letters, but there's only five sounds. So that's a trick question because sprung is s, p, r, a, mm. The last sound, two letters, one sound. Same with struck, s, t, r, a, so it's a C, 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 V, C word when you're thinking at least in terms of sounds or phonemes, which is how we roll here at Reading Simplified because that's how the code works. 
On the other end, there are six sounds in words like sprint or strips or splits or strand, if I did that right. St, er, a, n, d. You got it? Subtle little difference. We're thinking in sounds because that's how the code lines up. Sound and symbol, phoneme and grapheme. Little teaching point to help you kind of think as a beginner. And today's teaching point is to encourage you to challenge your students' phonemic difficulty. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, thinking about the sounds in the word is really relevant because frankly, it's a lot easier to start down there at the bottom, um, right? With the CVC words, three sound words, it's easier to segment k -at, or blend s -at is sat a CVC word as compared to a CVCC word. And even harder still is a CCVC word like stop where the consonant cluster is at the beginning. Harder still is a five sound word like um, stomp, st, ah, m, p. And the hardest would be a six sound word like strand. And then we keep pushing the child beyond that if they need it, if they're not real automatic with changing sounds in and out of words, then we move into nonsense words with six sounds. So spris to sprint to, well, sprint's real, sprint, sprunt, sprunt, splunt, splunt, splund, etc. So why is this important? A lot of reading programs are scripted and not diagnostic. This is a big deal. You can do switch it and have everyone be very successful and their brain is kind of turned off. You want to challenge them. So if they're mostly able to do four sounds, C, V, C, C, then you go up from there to C, C, V, C and go to stop. And if they're mostly, not perfect, but mostly able to do words like stop, then go up to five sounds. So I want you to challenge your students' phonemic development. And one of the things that happens, and particularly with kindergarten teachers, is you guys camp out and CVC words. You think it's because they can't read four sound words, you think they can't go to switch it. But it can happen really fast with this activity that they get better and better processing of how sounds and symbols line up if you challenge them. How many of you have experienced that? Because I know I am saying something that might now seem logical, but it does go against the grain. As Jennifer, who has been a kindergarten teacher says, it is so easy to get stuck at the CVC level and camp out there. Don't do it. That's right. Um, Uh-oh, uh, Heather, we're sorry that you are sick, but we're glad that you can join us. Awesome, Christy was kind of second guessing today's teaching point, so she's already planned to move up a level for tomorrow. I love it. Okay, so your kids don't have to be perfect at CVC for you to go to four sound words. Don't expect perfection, just if they can do it without basically freaking out and you're there to help them, that's great. So saying yesterday was, or today, yeah, yesterday, maybe you did bath to bat to bit to fit and they were pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. It wasn't stressing them out. This would be something that you might do the next day, say on Wednesday, uh, where the consonant clusters are at the end, like in hand. Hand to sand, to send, to bend, to bent, to best, etc., And then back down to pass. So you switch a lot of the vowels. So that's my suggestion for today. Who's going to do it? Okay. Are you, do you think your kids can handle it? Now, not everyone can, but most of us should probably be able to do it. And even better still, can you add also another short vowel? Do you think our short, our star student will be able to do it? So the big principle is when, if you can challenge the child's ability each day, not coasting, that's the way to get switch it to help you accelerate your child and your children. And Nancy says her kids love the challenge. Awesome. And Natasha, how cool. My student was definitely a wow. I love it. <laughs> and this one to me is really important. This is how one of the secrets that makes reading simplified faster than the mainstream approach. Diane says, not expecting perfection is an awesome concept. So 
let's remember where we were with our star student. This is a boy who's doing nothing but switch it so we can just test it out as an, an experiment. Remember, he started the week not knowing um, any short vowels, and we added O and A on Monday, and then on Tuesday we added I. I don't know if I had my right, the right chart up. Yeah, okay, this is what I wanted to show you. We, and then on Tuesday we added I, we kept doing O and A, and even more consonants. Check out how the letter sounds are just building, and we kept on the CVC level, however, but I threw a lot of letter sounds at him. Do you think he's able to go to four sounds today? Dun, dun, dun. That is the big question. Okay, so let's check out our star student. This is day three, his third day of doing Switch It and nothing else three days in a row because this, this activity packs a punch and it integrates multiple processes simultaneously. So I want you guys to think um, and share in the comments, is he able to do the four sound level? Is he recognizing more and more letter sounds automatically? I'd like to hear what you notice. Um, about his success and if you have colleagues who should see this you should probably let them know so here we go day three for our star student testing out switch it started with the first word the first word is and I a. I like a. oh you're already hearing it I like chocolate and peanut butter do you oh you're on to it you're already on to the end let's focus first on what you hear at the beginning of and a. yeah a. which one is a Bingo. Now we're gonna listen to this sound. And mm. oh, very good. And which one is n? Mm? That's actually d. There's n. Mm. Very good. Can you say it when you pull it down? Pull it down. Say n. Mm. 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 So you have an. What's the last sound in and? T. Well, that would make ant. D is right. He said it the second time. So which one is d? You got it. But I didn't hear it. Yeah, very good. Let's check it now. A. It could a, be, but this is a, the word and. A. A. a and. Mm. Mm. Yeah, very good. And the word is? And. and. So let's switch that. Are you ready? To sand. But we're going to move this down, okay? Where are we going to put the s? You know what, this is a trick I, I should have told you. Instead of switching this one, we're just going to add because we're making it longer. You would ask to get to the fourth letter. Today we are. Pretty cool, huh? Because you're advancing. We need a s. Where does it go? Let's see if you got sand. Uh, and the word is? Sand. And I want to make sure that I'm hearing this right. Sand. D. 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 Perfect. We need to switch one thing to make sand into send. I'm going to send him a present. We need that. Let's listen again. Send. Yeah, let, if you, oh, you've already figured it out. Get rid of the ah. What sound is going to go? There is a d. Let's listen from here and I'll, and I'll help you. Wait, what was it? Let's listen and watch. What? Send is the word. Watch. Send. Yes, there's an N, but what comes Same. here? Sand. N is two sounds. Can you figure out the sound that goes here when I say N? Eh. Wow, he did it. So he was able to segment that. Very good. Now that makes A, ah, though, so that would make yes. it sand. Which one is E? Eh. 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 As in sand or egg eh. or excellent. This is E. Eh. This is it. We haven't done it yet, so that's fine. I'm just going to tell him, and maybe by the end of the day, he'll be more familiar with it. Let's check the sounds. It's the word send. So, send. And the word is? Send. Well, this is send, but we're going to switch it to sent. I was already sent. Oh, that was too easy for you. I thought I would be harder. Wow. He's rocking it. Okay, tell me the sounds. Yes, you got the n. Uh huh. Let's try to figure out what that one is by itself. Eh. Eh. You're kind of like you're smiling. Let's switch it to went. I went to the store. 
Oh, those first ones are so what? easy for you. Which one's what? Oh, you knew that. What? Real short. What? 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 I went to the store. What? And do you see F? Mm -hmm. Can you look at F? There's there's the what? The what? And then what's the end of the word? What? E. And the last sound? Very good. Now we're going to take something away and make wet. 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 We have went. We need wet. Wow. You heard that. Wet. Aha. I think you got it. Let's check the sounds. Wa. Eh. Let's switch it one more time to let. Yep. Easy peasy. Let. Check the sounds. First sound is. Eh. You're smiling. Let. And the word is. Let. Let. Okay, now we're going to add a sound. Are you ready? You're going to make it longer. Go back to the long ones again. We're going to make this left left like this is my left hand I'm gonna tell you what we need to make some, that's right we need some space for something that's gonna go here let's see left what sound is this very good let's check did you make the word left look at it And the word is left. left. Let's switch it to lift. I lift the mug. Lift. We need a O for lift. We have left. Need, that's right. Get rid of the E. Eh. We need to make lift. So what sound first goes here? Lift. What sound is that by itself? O. Eh. eh. Lift. Okay, check each one. O. Eh. eh. Lift. Let's check it by itself. O. Eh. We're going to switch lift to loft. A loft is like a, a room uh, up high. Loft. Uh -huh. Loft. Okay, get rid of that. Eh. Pull down the ah. You're nailing that ah. On Monday, you didn't know the ah. Let's check the sounds. Ooh. Ah. Uh. And the word is. Wah. You are flying. Okay, let's switch it to soft. Your jersey looks soft. Is it soft? Tell me the sounds. Ah. Uh. You have soft. Switch it to sift. Get rid of the ah, that's right. What sound goes here to make s? Which is it? It. It. Say it. Sift. If you sift something, you separate it. Okay, let's check the sounds and sift. We have sift and just change it to sit. I sit down. Sit. Sift. And we need sit. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's check. Did you have sit? Let's see. Sit. It. This is just by itself. It. it. Switch it. Sat. I sat in my chair. Sat. They're not moving this one out. You're right. Oh. That would make ah. Sought. We need ah. ah. Is that ah? Ah. Okay, say the sounds. Sat. And the word is? Sat. You have sat. Now we're going to switch it to sash. A sash is like a little piece of fabric. Sash. Oh, you knew that. How did you know? Because I learned it in school. Awesome school teacher you have. Okay, check the sounds. It's sash. 
shame or shh, right? Okay, tell me the sounds one more time. Shh, sash. Shh, ah, shh, sash. Okay, can you switch it to lash, like eyelash? Yep, you're right. Sash, lash, lash, lash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Lash. Okay. And let's switch it to lap. I swam uh, 10 laps. Lap. La. We need the ah. We have lash. We need lap. What sound? Which one is p? Very good. Now check the sounds in lap. Ooh. Ah. That's right, because this would be lap. This is lap. Lap. What did you do today? You did short. You did it. it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. You did it. You did a. You did a. And you did a. Ah. Those are all four new since mm -hmm. Sunday. Let's get started with the first one. Pretty cool, huh? Are you excited to see his progress? I, I really appreciate all the comments. I appreciate those of you who have shared with your colleagues. I saw a lot of them. And yeah, this little boy is proud because he is successful. There is nothing that breeds motivation and engagement uh, like success, right? And I really like what um, Lauren says. This is a big idea from this activity, from this challenge, and frankly, from all of the things that we do here at Reading Simplify. She says, I keep thinking about the difference in speed between teaching and isolation and how quickly he has picked up the vowel sounds this way. Indeed, that is a big deal. And let's check it out. Um, this is where he was. Remember Sunday, he basically knew practically nothing and he couldn't segment. Is he getting better at his segmenting? Yeah. And is he learning letter sounds? Check out how our, our uh, letter sounds just kind of staircase up. Look at today. We, I really packed in a lot. Um, Look at that, it just goes up and up and up. He did um, a review of O and A. I don't think I reviewed, did I review I? I don't think so. But he, we added E. So now he's up to four short vowels. On Saturday, he knew zero. Do you remember the very first video? He couldn't even come up with A. And then I even threw in a digraph. This is a good example, but it is not unusual for a child to figure this stuff out this quickly. Sure, some are going to take longer. He is not going to be representing 100% of the population, but he started behind. His mother is dyslexic. He had all the characteristics of a dyslexic reader. So don't think of him as like some um, elite person that can just figure this out better than the rest of us. So the power is in the activity and in the feedback and in the challenge. There we go. So giving my little dog a treat. Tomorrow we're going to be giving a prize of these phonic books. I don't have a sample with me yet, but these are fabulous. I've given them away before. I love them. Um, they are super engaging and they align with the system that we use here at Reading Simplified. Um, so this is a great treat of 10 decodable books for the, whoever participates in the post today. We'll draw it for tomorrow and then someone will get this in the mail. And then don't forget that somebody is going to win the grand prize on it will announce it on Saturday so if you post five days in a row we're going to be drawing for all of these goodies from phonic books and whole phonics sound readers crazy longs and the reading and writing toolkit from the literacy hill and reading simplified is going to throw in a huge digital bundle so it's going to be awesome uh, Lisa loves these those phonic books so she's giving that shout out to them and um, Bonnie asks, can we buy our decodable books? And what we have here reading Simplify is an emphasis on training and learning our system because we think there's so much power in the system of how everything goes together. And so we lead with that. And 
we invite you to join us inside the Reading Simplified Academy. If you can become a paid member, you'll get the training kind of like this and then a lot of resources. We have hundreds of decodable texts for kindergarten reading level all the way up to fifth grade reading level. So differentiated texts and activities. And I'll be sharing more about that at, uh, later this week, including a coupon for a discount, 15% off discount. But uh, for now, let's keep going with the, um, the power of Switch It. Judy loves how fast he has improved in just four days. Earlier, I saw a comment about how long, how many words, do you have to do the whole list? Generally, we don't recommend you do an, a complete list. It's just there are a lot of choices there for you, so you can maybe start at the beginning, start at the middle, start at the end. Um, particularly when you're in the first week or two of Switch It, it takes a little more time, there's a lot more back and forth. So you want the activity to go fast. I aim personally for most kids to be around five minutes. So maybe for some kids that's four words, Same, some may, that might be 10 or 12 words depending on their speed. Um, this one I happen to be doing eight minutes because that was all I was doing and I really wanted to make sure we showed progress. And also when you're getting started with Switch It, you're going to not, you know, be as smooth with it as you will later. So it might take longer. So don't worry for sure if it takes longer than five minutes, but I don't recommend doing it more than 10. You want to keep their excitement up. And also you want to teach them other things. Switch It is so powerful. It's unlocking so much, but I also want you to be aware that it's not going to teach everything that a child needs for reading. For instance, we're not teaching blending. We're not teaching the advanced code like the long vowels or the diphthongs. So um, let me get to a sheet that I wanted you to see. Um, there's more to learning to read than just this. This, as you can see in our full lesson plan, this is just one um, very powerful, but one element. So there will be more that one needs to do to be able to really uh, bring this child or your own students up to reading you know, fluently, which is our goal. So I think that was one question I saw, and maybe I'll, I'll catch a couple more and then we'll head out. <clears throat> Lauren asks if a student with a hearing challenge, um, do you think emphasizing the shape of your mouth? Yeah, definitely. And I do that whenever a child is kind of stuck, uh, like you saw me with eh, like it's a smile, eh. Um, but mostly let them see the letter and let them see where it is in the, on the lines, like it's a, is it in the second position. So those are all visual cues that help. So thanks, good question. <clears throat> Thank you, Fatima. Um, yeah, we want to let him fidget because, whoa, we're really shrinking down there. Ooh. Okay, let me check, see if there's one more question. And if I didn't get to your answer or one of our colleagues didn't, then we will try to help you out in the Facebook group soon. I love this, Jennifer, stopping sooner and leave them wanting more. Yeah. Oh, love this, Joanne. We need more tutors, don't we, you guys? Lisa's already learned so much. Okay. I'm glad about this, Rimu. Rima, I'm sorry. I'm, con I'm combining your first and last names. I ap apologize. And uh, Kay's seen so much progress. I love that. Okay. Ah, oh, this is beautiful music to my ears. Um, this is amazing. I'm so glad Stormy Daniels told me about it. I'm sold. So thank you all who invited a colleague. Um, and thank you colleagues who were willing to try something new. But we want to keep this short since you all need a break. Do you have a TV show you're going to go watch now? Thanks for being here. I'm excited to see what you will accomplish tomorrow. Share your results. And uh, you might win, but also we can cheer you on. And we'll see what might happen with our struggling student. Do you think he'll go up a level tomorrow? Here's to making great readers.